let's go on a field trip. My name is AJ and welcome to the page. Here we talk about guitar, gear, and other guitar nerdy things. Today we are at the Shannon Hall and we are gonna to talk to other guitar players to see who their Mount Rushmore is. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Let's go. All right, I'm standing here with Dwayne. I just walked by his booth. He is a pedal maker locally, which is awesome. Tell us about your company. Okay, uh, I own Revelation Cable Company and Revelation Effects. Um, so I've just started with the initial pedal, which is the Revenant preamp boost. Uh, it is a clean preamp that has the option of adding overdrive. And there's a three band active EQ and a boost that once you engage the boost, you're gonna push the front end of that preamp. Sweet man. I got a couple questions for you, Dwayne. How long have you been playing guitar for? Oh, since I was 15, so what's it been now? I don't know, like 30 years? And what is your number one guitar? Like, if you had one desert island guitar, what would it be? I've got a 64 Jazzmaster. Oh, nice, nice. How long have you had that for? Uh, probably since I was 18. Yeah, Yeah, I bought nice. it in the 90s. It's 60, uh, 64, wow. Yeah. That's a, and how much did you get that for, if you don't mind me asking, back in the 90s? I paid $350. No, you didn't. Plus, I gave them a, uh, a reverb, or sorry, no. a wah pedal. <laughs> no, <laughs> you didn't. How much do you think that guitar is worth now? Uh, 10K? I don't know if it's that high, but yeah, it's okay. probably like six. Who is your Mount Rushmore of guitar players? I'm not into the guitarist guitarist. Yeah. I like people who are, are amazing at writing songs and riffs. Yeah, that's uh, okay. So Dwayne Dennison from the yeah. Jesus Lizard. Yeah. That's your number one? You yeah. have three other? Steve Albini of Shellac. Nice. And uh, let's see what else. I don't know, I can't think of anybody. That's all good, man, <laughs> two is good. And if you have any advice for any new guitar players out there, what would it be? Just sit at home and practice. You know, I as much as I love effects, I like sitting down and playing without anything and just working on songwriting rather than noodling on effects. Yeah, I love um, it. And then bring those in afterwards to taste. Beautiful, man. Thank you, man. Appreciate your time. All right. Thanks, Sorry. man. Cheers, man. Sir. Uh, Brian. Brian, how long have you been playing guitar for? Oh, since I was about 14. 14. Right? Yeah. Now, if you had one desert island guitar, what would it be in your collection? Oh, it would probably be my K. Yari Acoustic. Oh, okay. I've never yeah. heard of that. What's, yeah. Uh, what is that? Uh, made in Japan. Yeah. And uh, two, two uh, booths down, yeah. uh, his father uh, made the guitar that I purchased back in 1976. Oh, cool. So, yes. So uh, that's your desert island. Yeah. Okay, here's the big question. Yeah. Who is your Mount Rushmore of guitar players that influence you? It's got to be Jimi Hendrix. Hendrix? Jimmy Page. Yeah. I would have to say Prince. Prince, I love it. I mean, it's just three. I saw him at the Vogue Theater, I think it was 2011, oh. and he just had himself and like a three-piece band, and he played no hits, just like rock songs, and he just killed it. Oh, he, it was he, amazing. Oh, he, he's amazing. Yeah, amazing. Uh, While my guitar gently weeps, yeah. uh, YouTube that you see him. Yeah, uh, classic, he kills. A very underrated guitar player. Oh, yeah. And the last question I'm gonna ask you, to yeah. our viewers out here, if they're just starting their guitar journey, what's yeah. one piece of advice you could give them to get better at the instrument? Keep practicing, keep practicing, never, never give up. Get those calluses going. Yes. You got to you got to keep those calluses going. Yes, of course. And uh, don't be don't be afraid to watch other people and learn from them, and and check out YouTube. Of I'm learning a lot of things on YouTube as well. I love it. I love yeah. it. That's great advice. Thanks, Brian. Appreciate okay. it. Sure. All right. I am standing here with. Uh, I'm Jay Duncan. Bob. Bob. And Jay, how long have you been playing guitar for? Oh, there were dinosaurs roaming the earth. Uh, I don't know, like 45 years. 45 years, yeah. Bob? Let me do the math. 40 years. 40, 49. 49 years. Okay, Jay, here's the big yes. question of the day. Okay. Who is your Mount Rushmore of guitar? David Gilmour. Uh, Stevie Ray. Stevie Ray. Love it. Clapton. Clapton, yep. And, and one more? No. Nope, that's it. Three. 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 Bob? 
Mount Rushmore? Uh, toss it between Tommy Emmanuel okay. or um, um, Dire Straits. Mark Knopfler. Mark Knopfler. Mark Knopfler. That's a great pick. Yeah. That's a great pick. Okay. Okay. So that's two. You got two more. Uh, oh, Clapton. Clapton. Yeah. Um, you know, I'll throw a bass player in there. Yes. Uh, Send believe it. it or not, Paul McCartney. McCartney. I cannot, I cannot believe what? the stuff he pulls. He's very off. underrated as a guitar he's player. So, I think. Yeah. Well, he's underrated. Period. But as a yeah. bass, I'm yeah. a bass player. I watch him do stuff. Cool. I go, how did he do that? Because it's so natural. I love it. I love it. Last question, Jay. If you had one piece of advice to our new guitar players out there, what would it be to get better? What, what should they do? Oh dear goodness. Uh, close your eyes and listen to what you're playing. That's what I would say. Love close it. your eyes and listen. Cool. Bob, one piece of advice to you guitar players out there on how buy, to get better at guitar. Buy a Duncan Africa guitar. <laughs> so what is that? <laughs> Good segue. Uh, okay. <clears throat> you want me to introduce this dude? Do it. Okay, well, this is Jay Duncan. Uh, Jay trained under John Larrave. And who's John Larrave? John Lar Lar viewers out there. I know they should they they, know they, it. If they don't know who Larrave guitars know, are, know. you got We're, the wrong color. Of course, bodies. yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> So Jay chain so, so, trained with so, Larry, so, yeah. So, so Jay, when Larry left Vancouver, Jay started his own company, Duncan Guitars. Yeah. If you want a beautiful guitar, the ones he makes, I've never played one, but I hear they're amongst the best you can buy. Cool. Okay. Yeah. But anyways, Jay's traveling to Uganda one day and sees this guy playing his guitar, and he has it in his studio. It's it's really a piece of junk, but the guy had made it himself, and Jay realized there was some, talent, some hidden talent there, so he got had this vision for setting up a factory in Uganda, and he's trained all these young Ugandan men in woodworking, guitar making, got this up with all the machinery, the guitars are built there, all the woodworking is done there. Yeah. They come back here, Jay puts his magic on them, yes. and they are gorgeous guitars. Amazing, amazing, that's amazing. Um, oh, and, and they go under Duncan Africa, we Duncan. gotta get that brand out okay. there, so. That's, that's amazing, and Jay, Jay, so, Distracted. Okay. It's okay. Sorry. It's okay. It's okay. He's trying to make a sell. Uh, Jay, uh, you have your own company. Just plug it real quick here for our, sure. our viewers. Sure. Uh, so I personally am making Duncan guitars again. Yes. Um, Let's show them one of these pretty, guitars. Pretty high end. Yeah. And in Africa, we're building high end acoustic guitars and high end um, electric guitars. Let's show them this one. So. I don't know if we can see this yeah. on there. Beautiful, it's um, like a Telecaster style guitar. Yeah, all yeah. chambered, yeah. Uh, lacquer finishes, and uh, high-end hardware. I love it. And they're making a difference for guys who are making a living building guitars cool. in East Africa. Very cool. And where can they find you uh, if they want one of these guitars? Uh, DuncanAfrica.com. Yeah, DuncanAfrica.com. Awesome, yeah. Jay. Bob, any last words? Do you have uh, anything to plug? No, no, you we're, plug we're, we're, we're going to make Jay stuff all the big awesome. plug today. I love so. it. That's a good friend right there. <laughs> awesome. Thank you guys. Appreciate Thank it. You. Yeah. Really? Cheers. Awesome. Uh, I love that there's a whole room of guitar nerds just like myself, um, just kind of gathering around. Uh, it's really cool to see, actually. So uh, we're going to take a look around, uh, try to look at some cool stuff. Kevin. And what's your name, sir? Uh, my name is Don. Don. Kevin, how long have you been playing guitar for? Oh, a few years. A few years? Yeah. What's a few? Uh, I don't know. Five. Over 30? Yeah. Um, yeah, probably. Okay, over to 30, yeah. Boy, I'm giving my age away. I probably played for about 35 to 40. 35, 35 to 40 years? 240, yeah, I'll yeah, keep yeah. you guessing. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and Kevin, here's the big question of the day here. Who is your Mount Rushmore of guitar players? Uh, I don't really have a Rushmore of okay. guitar players. Who's but your I influences? Do like Motley Crue. I'm Love a, it, I'm Motley Crue, yes. I'm a rocker, so. Yeah, okay, Motley Crue. What do you think of John Five being in Motley Crue now? Uh, he's okay. Yeah. He's quite a guitar player. He's amazing. Yeah. He's amazing. But yeah, he's obviously you're, you're a Mick Mars yeah. fan. Yeah. Yeah. I was sorry to see him go, but. Yes. Okay. Cool. He's, you know, there's so many. I, I'm going to pick two. Jimi Hendrix and Ace yes. Fraley. Yes. Ace Fraley with Kiss. And yeah. we all know Jimmy. Yes. Of course. But yeah, those are the guys. Yeah. You know, they came back from the day, but, yeah. uh, amazing. you know, I do remember getting turned on by a Leona Boyd album when I was, you know, six or seven. Okay. So she was always kind of fascinating as a guitar player as yes. well. Yeah. So there's there's just uh, too many great names out there, but yeah, yeah what a journey. That's huh? amazing. Yeah. Players, any advice on how to get better at guitar in the beginning of their journey, what would it be? Play every day. Nice. Don, biggest play, advice? Play every day, be hungry, always grow, always learn, but be hungry about it, be passionate about it, and it'll drive you forward. Love it. Yeah. Okay, do you guys have anything to plug? Kevin, what's your booth here? Uh, it's just a personal collection of guitars that I customized and yeah. put together. Yeah. And uh, looking to sell them all. Come on down. Cool. Don. Well, he builds a lot of custom guitars for me, yeah. and in my uh, Kiss thing, 
My What's your kiss thing? Kiss, this is amazing. My kiss gig. Well, I yeah. can't use Paul Stanley okay. as a name, so I yeah. call myself Mr. Stanley. Yeah. I do Mr. Stanley Electric for the Electric Band, Mr. Stanley Acoustic for my acoustic set. You can find it all on YouTube. All, all Paul Stanley stuff? Yeah, all oh, kiss. All, all, all kiss, kiss. Yeah, 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 yeah. in makeup. So. Amazing. Okay. But Kevin, uh, as a guitar player, you got to have a guitar guy in your uh, circle, and Kevin builds for me. We jam a lot together. We love to talk guitar, and uh, we love to talk music. So he even gets me a few gigs once in a blue moon That's so amazing. yeah it works out well we're having a lot of fun cool and where can they find you guys they can find me at blast effects on facebook don where can they find you uh mr stanley acoustic yes on youtube yep. and it opens up a cornucopia of goodness I of rock it. and roll yes amazing yeah. thank you guys yeah. appreciate you awesome. awesome tim bemister tim how long you been playing guitar for uh about 48 years 48 <laughs> years now here's the big question of the day Yes. Who is your Mount Rushmore for guitar players? Uh, I'd have to say Herb Ellis, yep. um, especially uh, the stuff he did with Oscar Peterson. Cool. So Herb Ellis and Oscar Peterson. Okay. There was a trio. Those cool. guys that that really rocks. They really he really swings. Yeah. He plays good blues. Yeah. So he would be my top guy. And, that, and that's your style, blues. Uh, you know, I, I aspire to it. Yeah. But you know, like the jazz, blues-oriented jazz music is is kind of engaging. Yeah. So I aspire to that. Yes. Love it. Now, if you had a desert island guitar, I know you have your own collection here. I'm sure you have others at home. If you had uh -huh. one desert island guitar you could only have, what would it be? It'd have to be a Martin, maybe a Martin D18 or a Martin Ooh, D28, nice. like an acoustic Martin. Yeah, yeah. Have to be a Martin. Yeah, and you have one of those at home? Yeah, yes. can't let that go. Yes, that's, that's, that's it. That's amazing. Yeah, that's the one, yeah. Awesome. And one last question. For our new guitar players out there, what piece of advice could you give them uh, in order to get better at guitar? I would say if you're practicing, try to have fun. Yeah. So uh, try not to beat yourself up too much. Try to try to make sure that uh, what you're doing is is fun for you. And if it's fun, you you know, like me, I've been doing this for a long time, and it's still fun. So I, I think that's the, that's the thing that keeps me playing. And the fact that I'm still playing, I mean, I'm not improving that much. <laughs> But, you know, I'm not getting any worse. Yes. So, you know, you might not be the next Ingi Malmstrom or whatever, yes. but if you're having fun, you'll stick to it, and, and you, you know, you never know where it'll go. That's amazing. So, yeah, enjoy. Awesome. Thanks for your time. Appreciate okay. it. Cheers. You're very welcome. Trevor Johnson. Uh, how long have you been playing guitar for? Been playing guitar for 30 years now. 30 years. Yeah. Now, if you had one uh, Desert Island guitar in your collection, what, which one would it be? My Desert Island guitar is my 1993... Yeah. Fender Telecaster, Mexican made. Oh, nice! And is that yeah. your first guitar? It was my first new guitar. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Uh, and it's it's been through everything with me, from learning how to play and learning how to fix, how to learning how to modify. Yeah. Uh, it's um, so, cool. And yeah. the question of the day that I've been asking everybody here: mm -hmm. Who is your Mount Rushmore of guitar players that Mount influenced Rushmore. you? So four. Four, yeah. The reason I play is uh, Bob Hartman of the band Petra. Yeah. Uh, Randy Rhodes, David Gilmore. Yeah, uh, that's a more more recent for me. I guess like in the last the last fifteen years or so. Well, I guess there's always Steve Vai, right? You Steve got, Vai. You, you got you got to love Steve Vai. Yeah, of course. Uh, can't play like him. But, yes, but uh, definitely enjoy his stuff. So. Awesome. And one last question. Yeah. Our, our viewers out there who are new to their guitar journey, what biggest piece of advice could you give them in order to get better at their instrument? Patience. Patience. Practice makes permanent. Yes. So practice properly, practice cleanly, yeah. and be patient with it. it. It will come. Awesome. And let's plug your company real quick. This has caught my eye. What, okay. Just tell us about real quick about this Telecaster. Okay. This, this is, is nice. my new line of guitars. So Lockwire is the main line. This is Molter my Molterum line. Yeah. Molterum is Latin for of many. Yep. So it's the inspired by. So okay. this is more affordable, and okay. it's the inspired by. Okay. So it's okay. a Telecaster. Yeah. I would make a Strat, make a Les Paul, cool. that sort of thing. Okay. Uh, so this is the Molterum. The model name I call it Tenax, which is Latin for tenacious or tenacity, because cool. there's really nothing more tenacious than a Telecaster. Yeah, right? yeah. Uh, it's a pine body. My dad's favorite wood is pine, uh, and uh, sort of as a as a tribute to him, he gave me the wood for this. Yeah. Because uh, his health is declining, so he's not able to do oh, woodwork cool, anymore. So I'm making beautiful things out of his wood. I love it, man. I love it. Uh, and where can they find you? Um, www.lockwireguitars.com uh, Do you have any socials that we can plug uh, on the channel? Uh, I do have a Facebook page. You can yeah. find me there. Yeah. And uh, what, what, what's the name under that? It's Lockwire Guitars. Oh, Lockwire Guitars. Yeah. yeah. On Facebook? Yeah. On Facebook. and Awesome. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Thank you. Cheers. Okay. All right. We are with? 
Rob Markin. And Rob, what do you do here? I am the organizer of the Cloverdale Guitar Show. Awesome. And how long has this show been around for? It's been, uh, it's up, we're in our fifth year now. Yeah, yeah, amazing. Yeah, so it's been a good progression on that. It's yeah. something that definitely we needed in the area. Yeah, and 100%. This everyone, is very cool. Yeah, it's a great event. Yeah. Our uh, vendors love it, and um, the people that come to the event definitely yeah. thank us for having it. Yeah. So it's a great and event. And we're, we're coming back next year, right? 100%. Nice, yeah. awesome. Yeah. And here's the question of the day. Who is your Mount Rushmore of guitar players? Okay, so it's not going to be a guitar player. It's going to actually be a banjo player. Perfect. And I would have to say Steve Martin. Oh, Steve Martin. Yeah. Yes. Okay, yeah. Cool. He's a you know he's a multi-talented, yeah. very down-to-earth guy, yeah. and amazing on the banjo. Oh, awesome. And where can people find you for the guitar show? We're expanding out, so we'll have um, a Facebook page. Okay. And. Um, Right now, if they have questions, they can send it to vango90 at gmail.com. Perfect. And we'll link it down below in the description. And awesome. uh, we'll see you next year. Great. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate All right. It. Cheers. All right. We just got finished with the guitar show. That was a lot of fun. Uh, I want to say thank you again to Rob and Wendy, the organizers, for being gracious enough to let me film in there. I love guitar and I love music. And the reason why I love it is that it just brings people like that together. It was cool to see that many guitar nerds in the same room. If you are new to guitar, I hope this brought you value and I just hope that you take that advice that all these guys have given about how to get better at guitar and basically what it boils down to is just enjoy the process, have fun and just put the time in. If you made it to the end of the video, I appreciate you so much. Please consider liking and subscribing. Hit that bell for notifications. I will see you guys in the next video. Pick up that guitar and let's go.